Okay, what we're going to be looking at is uh, continuing our project using some uh, ICT now. Specifically, we're going to look at Excel. So the first thing to do is to go to my website and uh, type in the name of the website. Yeah, there's Jason. You know, this is exactly the same address that you've got at the top of your uh, your data handling sheet. It's that sheet with all the data on. Right at the very top, there will be that address. Okay, scroll down. Okay, you got all the stuff here. Just scroll down until you see some. Here is some preliminary data. This is what we're working with now. Okay, it's already set up for you, so it should be nice to use. Okay, so we get open. Just click on the link. We don't save. Sorry, we don't go open. We're going to save it. Okay, we're going to save it to the desktop. Okay, so there we go. Save it there. It's saved. Okay, so let's close that now, and we're going to go minimize that. It should now be in your desktop somewhere. Okay, minimize that as well. Open this up. Okay, what we've got here is basically, you know, this is quite a lot of data we've got, okay? This is from, you know, 1853. Let's look right down here. This is the mess office data. I mean, we talked about it the other day. We had the option of the weather. Or we could look at the, um, look at the education statistics. We've got all of that stuff, okay? Absolutely loads. So that's, and what we can do as well with these, these arrows here, these are ways of filtering, okay? So if we want to look at just January, we click the one. We see just January. Let's go back to all. If we want to look at, I don't know, um, yeah, let's just look at the Pacific year. What about, you know, if we're interested in uh, 1863, we don't have to scroll down, we can click that, we can see exactly what happened in 1863. Okay, so this is quite useful, this, okay? So the next step we're going to look at then, is uh, filtering some of this data in some useful way. Okay, so let's scroll down. Let's go. Oh, sorry. What I want to do is sorry. I want to do a custom one of these now. So what I want to know is all the data in this row that is greater than. Okay, all the data in this row with the year that is greater than. I'm going to pick. Well, we want to keep things reasonably recent. So let's have a look at greater than 2000. Sorry, not greater than 2000. Greater than 1999. Okay, so that's all the years now that are greater than 1999. We've got exactly that there. Yeah, so let's look, see if we can find some interesting, or at least make a, make a start finding some interesting bits and pieces with this data. I think the first thing I'm going to do is rather than keep it in this sheet, I'm going to take this specific bit out. Okay, copy, insert worksheet, paste, okay. Right, so now we've got the data in a new sheet. Let's have a look at some uh, some statistics we might, want to, we might want to get out. Let's see if we can find what the average maximum temperature. So, okay, this statistic here uh, is the max take the maximum temperature on each day throughout January, and then they find the average. Okay, so it's and then the same February. Okay, so the one is January, one is January, two is Feb, one is January, two is February, three is uh, March, four is April. So, 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 so go down to December then back to uh, back to January again okay so we'll look where we're at in terms of time here okay I don't know so let's type in equals average boom average maximum temperature let's scroll right the way down yeah was the average maximum temperature. It's taking the average of all those numbers, okay? So, if you were in any month in uh, in the 2000s, that's maybe not the most meaningful statistic ever, but that's the uh, the average temperature. It's useful to know. Equals max. Okay, so he's finding the maximum. Okay, now have an experiment with these functions. You know, I want you to try them all. Okay, that's equal to that equals min okay so we've got the minimum temperature minimum maximum average okay maximum minimum right so let's move on a bit let's say we want to plot a uh, pie chart and let's pick at the year 2001 we're going to plot a pie chart uh basically using the the hours of sunshine, okay? 
So we want the total hours, of, well, we're going to use the data to do that. So I'll show you how to do that in Excel. So because I don't want um, one, two, three, four, and so forth coming from a plot, I'm going to put Jan, Feb, Mar, April, May, June, July, August, September, okay, Oct, Nov, December, okay, so I've got the, I've got the uh, months there, and then I'm going to pick that, pick the hours of sunshine, Okay, and then we're going to click over here, hit the pie chart one, go next. Okay, this is giving us it here. Okay, so let's go next. Okay, chart title. Hours of sunshine. Next, finish. Okay, so we get hours of sunshine. Let's put that there. So let's see if we can interpret this a little bit. The colours are a little bit difficult to read, I know. So June, you should expect, gets the most. July gets the load. August gets quite a lot. So the hotter months, more sunshine. Exactly what you'd expect. So what happens in December? Very few hours of sunshine in December. So this is uh, this is making sense. Okay, so have a go at doing all those things, okay? Have a go at uh, basically following the same steps I've followed. Um, and then once you get confident with that, you know, for homework, watch this again, try doing something different, have a play, do your own thing, okay? Okay, I uh, have, hope you uh, get the hang of that. And we're gonna, and we're gonna stop this. Doesn't seem to be stopping it anyway.